but go aft. Let us aft further. Ah. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm putting on a, a nice uh, heavy American accent there. <laughs> Super <laughs> that heavy. Entrance lead. <laughs> Let me, okay, let me, I need to slightly oh. explain this joke. In Canadian English, they severe, or like, like a Canadian accent, they severely yeah. do not know how to pronounce any loan words. And in particular, oh. pasta becomes pasta and salsa becomes salsa. Uh, so pasta becomes pasta. Uh, well, oh my God, are you kidding? I mean, mm. <laughs> I do feel like, for all of their foibles, <laughs> Americans pronounce loan words far better than anyone else, than any other English Only, speakers. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not sure whether that's an English thing or a North thing. It's kind of the problem. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Well, but it, so it is definitely a phenomenon that, like, if a French loan word is pronounced differently in American English than it is in British English, then American English is closer to the French. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I, so I, I mock them, and now you, by saying, for example, <laughs> pasta and salsa rather than uh, pasta and salsa. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and also aft. <laughs> See, another thing is like the cilantro coriander thing, and that's another similar thing in a way. So I feel like the cilantro is the Spanish word, I believe, isn't it? Cilantro is the the Spanish word, and it and this is another case of it ain't cilantro, yeah. <laughs> it's cilantro. Ex but exactly, uh, but yes. also <laughs> we tend to say cilantro for the like the herb and coriander for, for the, the the ground up like dried spice like oh. a, a shelf spice would be coriander a fresh spice oh. would be cilantro usually uh mm -hmm. but i mean they, they are the same but there's it's similar to the jelly jam situation where brits think that we just call jam jelly and that isn't <laughs> correct at all <laughs> I, I think it's fair to see where we get that uh, that assumption from well yes <laughs> Anyway, we went aft. This is relevant. <laughs> that entrance leads to the infinite improbability drive chamber, chamber, chamber. It's supposed it's not to an be echo a chamber. It's an improbability drive chamber. Dang. It was highly improbable that it would echo, so <laughs> it's supposed to be a terribly dangerous area of the ship. Are you sure you want to go there? Oh, I guess we didn't Hell actually yes. go there. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, you know, it's dangerous, so let's just wander in and kill ourselves. That sounds yeah. like fun. Uh, are you absolutely sure you want to go in? I mean, it's dangerous, but the infinite improbability means we'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. If it's if it's certain that yeah. we should die, then we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I can tell you don't want to really. You stride away with the spring of your step, <laughs> wisely leaving the drive chamber safely behind you. Telegrams arrive from well-wishers in all corners of the galaxy, congratulating you on your prudence and wisdom, cheering you up immensely. And see, that's how we end up fine. There we go. Exactly. Now that we have the telegrams, mm. how can we go wrong? What? You're joking, of course. Can I ask you to reconsider? <laughs> Is it gonna let us or not? <laughs> I mean, it's been different messages all these times, so something's yeah, happening. Yeah, so let's try it again. If you insist, you're in the infinite probability drive chamber. <laughs> nothing happens. There is nothing to see. No. Oh. Eat the infinite probability drive. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and save before trying to eat the infinite probability drive. It'll be fine. <laughs> As you eat the improv, <laughs> as you eat the drug, you don't know the what? word infinite. <laughs> what are you talking <sighs> about? <laughs> oh boy, I can't see any drive here. Nothing happens. There is nothing to see. Well, I guess we want to leave then. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, so this, this maybe is... reload instead. <laughs> Fair enough. So this isn't because I'm not. This is slightly cryptic, but bear in mind that this is the infinite improbability drive. Yeah, that's fair. So if there's nothing to see, what Wait. you should do 
is look around because there's around. definitely something to see. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The exact same logic we I just used. I mean it. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> Let's look some there's... more. You just have to convince it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love a game that needs convincing. <laughs> okay, okay. There are a few things to see here. <laughs> this is the room that houses the powerful infinite improbability generator, generator, generator. That so it's not a the drive. Uh, well, it dr it generates improbability, and the improbability itself drives the ship. I uh, that drives the heart of gold, and exit lies four of here. Sitting in the corner is a spare portable improbability what? generator. <laughs> there is... That seems important! ...an ionic diffusion rasp here. There is a pair oh. of hypersonic pliers here. Okay, I did need the manual to understand what footnote 10 means, but it's not that the yeah. footnote is in the manual. It's just that there is some extra flavor text, and to get it, you have to type footnote 10. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's all so. Grit. I think, by my understanding of the manual, that it's always flavor text. Like it doesn't actually. It's not critical. Uh, but, but we get it. it yeah, yeah. It's just there, kind of as a joke yeah. or something. Uh, anyway, <sighs> there's a there's a spare portable improbability generator, a diffusion rasp, and uh, hypersonic pliers here. Something tells me we want all of these things. I mean, don't be. Of course, we want all of them. They're <laughs> they're things. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's... we can put them inside the thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's put the rasp and the pliers we just picked up in the thing. Yep. Oh, look at that score! It went rocketing up, rocketing up. Uh, that's how you say rocketing. <laughs> that's that's how you say rocketing when you don't know how to pronounce words. <laughs> <laughs> Cilantro rockets. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I just wanted to say something. Oh, your more. load is still too heavy. What? Well, we can put something else we've got inside the thing then. Presumably, at least. Uh, put fluff in. I'm gonna put the gun in the thing. See, the, it doesn't say we're carrying too many items. It says our lord's too heavy. It yes, might not I, matter I, that they're in exactly. the thing. Exactly. I I think that they don't count. When, well, I I know that they don't count when they're in the thing because it because the game to, the guide told me. Oh. Put yep. gun in thing. That's such a sentence. <laughs> No, come on, don't do this to me. Oh. Well, we can't put the towel in the thing. That would just destroy everything. Uh, I'm I'm going to check something. So long as the thing okay. is always going to follow us around anyway. Yeah, then we can just drop it. Like, maybe that's the trick. You can always put things in the thing, and then it's just going to follow you around anyway. And you can just no, wait. I think I think we what? just have too much stuff mm. still. <laughs> oh. So I did only is, put the gun in there. Need? We don't know how heavy the the plotter is, so. Uh, yeah, true. And we don't know how heavy the generator is, for that matter. So let's put the plotter in the thing. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be heavy. It does say. I mean, it is an infinite prob. It's improbably heavy, probably. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I actually, like, that sentence formed in my head fully before realizing <laughs> what an awful, awful pun it was. Uh, okay, that worked. And yet it was said anyway. And Yay. yet I said it anyway. So, now we've got some things. We do. Now we can perhaps leave. I forget the exits and entrances. Uh, it's four from here. Well, let's go that way. And although it's refusing to tell us, there was also a exit port uh, from here. Well then, lie. Let's go that way. And also, there was an exit down. Now that I remember, there was. Yeah. yeah. The screening door to port is closed. How about we open it? Well, then? it's only a screening door. I mean, it's only to screen us from some kind of danger. So it'll be fine. 
The door explains in a haughty tone that the room is occupied by a super intelligent robot and that lesser beings, by which it means you, are not to be admitted. Show me some tiny example of your intelligence, it says, and maybe, just maybe, I might reconsider. Can we say 42 at it? <laughs> Will that work? What, what could be more intelligent than saying 42? Exactly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Dance a j that, that would also be a sign of impending mental <laughs> That also didn't convince it of our intelligence. Fine. <laughs> okay, it looks like we can't go that way, at least for now. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything that would prove that. No, there's also down that we can go, so let's go there rather than... Yeah. I'm going to say we're off the, the charts right now. I just want to explore. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of figured. You are at the bottom of a gangway. A hatch below you is closed. There is a small access space to starboard. I guess we might want to go that way then. You sure you don't want to open the hatch that is definitely directly into space? <laughs> okay, let's open the hatch. Uh, too late. I already went starboard. <laughs> oh. That entrance is so narrow that you probably couldn't pass by holding anything. Well, maybe oh, no, one chimney. thing. <laughs> Chimney! <laughs> no! No! Oh, so clever. But let's 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 open the hatch. That can't be a yes. bad thing to do. It's definitely Smart fine thing to open to do. the hatch. <laughs> Watch us get sucked into space! Come on, suck us into space! Loud sirens blare, fantastically bright red lights flash from all sides, Yay. and a soft female voice mentions that opening this hatch in space will evacuate the air from the ship. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, so so to hell with open the hatch. loud sirens and the fantastically bright red lights. Let's open the damned hatch. I want to die. That'll prove our intelligence. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, Why won't it's it not let me die? Either. Why won't it let me die? <laughs> hmm. Well, so... Uh... So I, I'm going to say again... We're we're off the the grid right now. Like we're off the actual. Uh, uh, yeah, let's chart, steer us so. back towards the guide somewhat. Uh, yeah. So. So I, all I'm gonna say from the guide is just don't go anywhere new. <laughs> you just don't need to go anywhere okay, new. Okay. Fair enough. Uh. So wait. We are right. We're in the engine room. We've already done all the picking up and such. So we can just leave. Before. Yes. Okay. I will let you lead us to wherever we need to go, and then we can... So, okay. So in that case, I'm just going to go back to the engine room. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, sorry, not the engine room. The uh, the bridge. <laughs> I was going to <laughs> In that case, I'm just going to walk back and forth like an insane person and see what happens. Like we just did. <laughs> uh, no, we didn't. We went uh, to, the, to the bridge. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, well, because well, no, we went places and did but, things, and it's fine if you do well, things. I <laughs> we see. We got things, we did things. Okay. We we forgot to do the thing we always need to do. We forgot to look at look at the things we picked up. <laughs> oh yeah. We I I I kept reminding you that you need to do it, and then I forgot to do it because yeah. I sort of got on the guide. The spare improbability drive has a switch, a long cord ending with a oh. large plug, and a short cord ending with a small plug. It bears a small label which reads, Another fine product of the Serious Cybernetics Corporation. Now let's look at the rasp. Uh, well, those are in the thing right now. <laughs> oh, and we dropped the thing, didn't we? Uh yes. Let's we did. look at Eddie. Right, we did. We did drop the thing, so we don't. Yeah, we can't do that right now. But we can look at Eddie. For some reason, when I type a full sentence, I always type "look at." Uh, <laughs> but when I type, uh, yeah, you, you understand what I mean. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. see nothing special about Eddie the shipboard computer. How improprietous. Hmm. Um. Let's eat Eddie. 
So you tried to guess the bitrate that this is streaming at, by the way. The the effect of actual bitrate. Hey, we have the thing again. Uh, hey! Let me look at the plotter more carefully. Yeah, because we didn't actually even look at that. Did we, we did. No, no, we did, because remember it had the dangly bit. Yes. <laughs> It did, so... But it also has a small yeah. receptacle. Oh, we want to plug the generator into that. What small plug in small receptacle? Hopefully I won't <laughs> have to use any more prepositional phrases than yeah. that. <laughs> you probably will. Plugged! Yay! Okay, now what? <laughs> now uh, let's inventory again and see what we've got now, because they're combined. Uh, that's true. It might, uh, I'm betting that it's gonna say that, like, one of them is inside of the other because... Probably, next adventure yeah. games. No! Uh, nope! It doesn't even... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, A spare improbability drive connected to the plotter. Ah, okay. The improbability okay. drive also had a button, and the plotter also had a, uh... uh the, sorry, the drive had a large pluggy bit and a button the yeah. uh, plotter had a dangly bit well okay so we're building something it might not be finished yet it might be who really knows not sure no one let's, is sure let's fish through the handbag <laughs> yeah okay why not she'll I mean, be happy about that it's it's here and it's not ours so that means exactly. it's ours i'm pretty sure exactly. that's how it works <laughs> ah! can we not look at it without grabbing of course it maybe not, no oh drop all <laughs> well i mean i'll do it I'm so desperate to drop the handbag, that, or to look in the handbag, that I'm going to drop handbag. everything. <laughs> Opening the handbag reveals a pair of tweezers. You feel a wave of depression oh. sweep over you, and you turn to see that Marvin the robot is stalked miserably into the room. Do we want to take the tweezers, perhaps? Uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna say it's nothing to do with the handbag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> How sad. It's it's truly depressing. <laughs> Almost as depressing as he is. <laughs> Nothing's that depressing. <laughs> well, fair enough. So. Surely we just want to follow wherever they went. I just don't remember where that is. Uh, well, they went to the sauna. But remember, when we went to the sauna, it just sounded yeah. us. So that was that was not that exciting. And then where did they go after that? I, who knows? They they dissolved. They they were in the sauna so oh, long see. that they dissolved. <laughs> Man, and g game over. Rip, <laughs> pod, prefect. Um... Okay, so which direction is going to go from here? Uh, well, the the port is into the sauna, uh, and we can also... Directly to the sauna? Directly to the sauna, and we can also go other directions. <laughs> but let's go the other directions, and that, that we haven't already been. We've been every aren't. direction. We've been everywhere from here. We came from four, and down is the only other exit. Well, down and port is to the sauna, so... And there there. was no other exit from the Soiruna. No. In fact, there's no exit at all from the sauna. Mm. You go to the sauna and instantly get popped back into the bridge after several hours. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> true. So let's go the way we came from, because we went been down after the sauna. So let's go the other way. Uh, I'm going to type the word four and hope that that's the direction I'm trying to go in. I think it maybe might. No, nope. oh, you can't go that way. But that's where we came from. Oh, no, it's going all Zork. <laughs> it's going all Zork on so the I, I'm, floor. We, I, I'm just going to say, by the guide, we don't have to go anywhere right now. So that's, you know, that that's. So we just anyway. wait, essentially, again. Uh, no, we have to do Let's talk to something. Marvin. I'm not Marvin the... What? 
the computer, the ship computer. Oh, well, but I mean, remember, you can't just talk to. That's not. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. <laughs> Can we plug the thing into the computer? Excuse me, the computer is a, sa <laughs> a, a sapient being. You can't just plug long cords into sapient beings without their permission. <laughs> I disagree. Wait, no, I better not say that. Um, the spare improbability drive has a switch, a long cord ending with a large plug, and a short cord plugged into the atomic vector plotter. It bears a small mm. label which reads blah, blah, blah. Let's eat the switch. <laughs> Perfect. Or press it, depending on what you prefer. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh... I don't know the word Nintendo. <laughs> what an absolute uh, shock that it doesn't know the word Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing happens. Looks like we're going to have to do something else. But turning on the generator is a thing we can attempt to do. I have hmm. absolutely no clue how you're supposed to figure out this thing. I, I'm oh, so it's one of those things. I'm trying okay. to figure... Like, I was hoping it would give a hint. And maybe it does if you wander about enough. But I... I have... What is the thing? I have no clue how... I mean, really? Like... If the worst in Zork is a 10, what is this? I, what like a say? 10? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a... It's dangling like a tea bag. That's, no, that's not really a thing, no, is it? Really? I, no. no, I mean, if so, if if you hear dangly bit and instantly think I should put this in my tea, then really consult don't. psychiatric care. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. Again, like all the guides, and I've now looked at a few. They're they're sort of just here's the things you do, and I'm always hoping that it's gonna have some kind of hint. L lodge, yeah. Let's press the button again then. Let's, turn it back on. Let's turn on the generator. I just I <laughs> And then it'll maybe turn it into a Greg's a sausage mist roll. Spins or spins round again. It should be apostrophe round or around. Uh, not mm -hmm. round in that con like that's just that's an adjective. Something can be round. <laughs> can't sp it's not an <laughs> adverb. It can't spin round. You fall into what seems like a bottomless pit, suddenly you hit the bottom so hard that you wish it had been bottomless. Dark. Turn on eyes. <laughs> That that seems good. I'm, I'm gonna take turn on in the sense of like, uh, yeah, how dare aroused. you turn on me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that kind of turn on. Yes. Oh no. You can hear nothing. Let's listen again. Ma but no, you can hear nothing. Smell oh, nothing. Can't taste hear nothing. See nothing. Feel nothing. And are not even certain who we are. <laughs> Let's wait some more then. Let's wait some more, then. Yeah. I don't know how to eat a concept. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can see nothing. Eat the concept of women. <laughs> you can see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, taste Oops, nothing, everything. smell nothing. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five senses. Yep. That are still not entirely certain who we are. I don't know why we're so quick to not know who we are if it's dark. Yeah, that's... Like, if there's any sense I have, it's continuity of being. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's a, that's a very regular, th typical thing for me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, so this doesn't appear to be changing. Not for much. poor Mr. Protagonist, though. <laughs> it's the tea. We just need the tea. Exactly, if he had tea. You can't see anything, smell anything, feel anything, or taste anything, and do not now even know- Now we can know. hear things. Now we can hear things. Uh, it's such a strange little recurring puzzle, isn't I, it? I, I, I kind of love it. <laughs> I like it, but when it does it over and over, it's the same result every time. But then it's only happened twice with two different senses, so yeah. No, it's happened three fair. times. This is the third. And- I mean, with the two sen- with the two senses. Oh, right, okay. You hear the deep and distant- oh. 
What? What? This isn't what was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, dear me. But this isn't. Why did we go back? The guide is lying. This sounds like a problem. The guide. The guide is lying to me. Oh no. Kill self. It didn't even not work. It just. It just. Yeah. It was like. Yeah. It didn't even give any response at all. How rude. <laughs> um... I Okay, I think I need to take a moment here because this is not where we're supposed to be. <laughs> we broke it. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yay. Wait, it worked? I, I like how the, the only response is done. <laughs> I mean, it's accurate, okay, I guess. Okay, done. <laughs> you have died. <laughs> Please hold. Yeah, so having done nothing differently, we got a different description there. Blackness swims toward you like a shoal of eels who have just seen something that eels like a lot. <laughs> Uh, what? All of my, okay. I, I thank you for your praise of all of the voices that I do. <laughs> I was more talking about the description. Well, you know, you you looked like uh, eel food. Delicious eel food. Uh, yes. Hear, see, smell, feel, taste. Taste. No, oh, no, that's taste. There. <laughs> They're all there. <laughs> yep. I'm just going by count. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been doing. Taste, see, hear, feel, smell. That's five. Smell. This, this is nothing, the one. No, nothing you can smell. Oh, look, I missed smell. Just oh, count. <laughs> hear, see, feel, taste. Ah. I, but why? What did we do right? We nothing. It's apparently random. I refuse to believe that it's random. <laughs> it has to be a bug or something. It's, it can't be random. Because one guide said, if it's not right, then reload. But the other guide just assumed it would be right. So it can't be totally random, or else every guide would say, by the way, this could go Unless the wrong way. Unless the guides way. are stupid. But of course they're stupid, but they're stupid in that they're <laughs> scripts. And if they're scripts, they should work. <laughs> Unless it worked for them on that instance. But I, I, but did their script? And they tried it once. <laughs> but their scripts. <laughs> but their scripts, Pi. Their we should, scripts. We should cut in with you whining, complaining about scripts because that's it's scripts. wonderful. This has been <laughs> in for the past two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, we would never figure this out in a million no, years no, without a guide. It, no one could have ever. It's ridiculous. It does smell a bit. There's something pungent being- No! No! D please tell me this isn't going to have- This is not going to have sent us back to the- No. I- 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 it can't. It can't. Oh, it, if- What?! Oh my shit, it actually has. No, this is. This is. Well, it's it's redarked us. <laughs> what? Maybe this is just how transportation works in this game, and maybe you need to continue waiting until it gives you the right place. But da 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 da. da. Like maybe, and I'm being an optimist here. <laughs> maybe. If you we keep are... waiting, the sense will change. Well, yeah, awesome. and, and like inevitably we'll end up in the right place, but there might be a step or two of silliness along the way, like that. Uh, Taste, maybe? see, hear, feel, smell. I'm I'm tr I'm trying to give this game the benefit of the doubt. Already put dangly bit in T substitute is not okay. It was a, it was a bit hear, smell, zoki. Taste, see, feel. Yeah, they're all there. Why are we- we have so, what is the name for the sense of con, of continuity of consciousness? How do we lack that sure. sense? <laughs> like, that's a pretty normal sense. Taste, okay, we see, can hear feel, this time. smell. 
Uh, let's let's see what we end up hearing. I would love. Yeah, this to is know. different. It's I. It's I just I. Why this game? This is weird. Oh, now we're back here. I. But. But. I'm not. But video game, no. This game. is not a video game. Game, no. Game. Well, this I mean, this is it, dice rolling simulator. It's. <laughs> But, but, but game, no. So is no it going to reset game. the people as I well, don't or just no? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I <can't, sighs> But I, uh, I, I don't. Uh, yeah, it hasn't reset the people because. Yeah, it's just, so it does seem like it just <sighs> randomly puts you in some location. The thing is... What? What? Wait, no. Did we lose but the we... one in our inventory? No, surely we didn't. <laughs> we lost the thing in our... What is this game? You, re you realize we're going to have to convince it to let us back into the drive room to get No, we're not. We're well. going to have to convince it to let us restore save 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if that's fair. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is this? What is this? This might be worse than Zork. This is unbelievable. Why did we assume this would be better than Zork? Because it's years later and was made by people who should know better. <laughs> uh, maybe they want to emulate the classic, which is probably not so much a classic at that point, even. I just, I don't accept this. Now, let's see which sense is missing. I, so I waited once so that we didn't do exactly the same sequence of commands. <sighs> okay, in case it's something to do with that. Yeah. yeah. In case it's just, like, randomized by your number of moves. Hear, smell, taste, see, feel. Yep. That's I had to go look up the, uh, what sense it is that is your sense of continuity. <laughs> see, feel, hear, taste, yeah. smell. <laughs> I'm gonna Google that while you're doing this. Yeah, you, you go, you go figure out what sense it is we inexplicably don't have. Hear, smell, taste, see, feel. I, I don't, I don't find this acceptable, and I don't find this acceptable. <laughs> Hear, see, feel, taste, smell, smell. again. Uh, this if is gonna get us back on the Vogon ship. We get if we end up in the Vogon ship. It's going to. We are going to. Death. Because <laughs> it seems like the every sense, yeah, every single sense puts us into a specific place. But uh, here's the thing. That's dumb. I'm reading the guide. <laughs> and, and the it says guide, smell, it? you are, yeah, it is supposed to be smell. And furthermore, you're supposed to smell and make out a shadow moving in the dark. But it says nothing so, about something pungent waving under your nose. So this might be it then. So this might be it? Wait, hang on, this isn't the Vogon version. This is the same thing that the Vogon version said. Is it? Hey! It's somehow, not. by accident, we ended up where we <sighs> wanted to be in this goddamn video game. <sighs> <sighs> the shadow is vaguely bud bladder, uh, bug bladder beast shaped. This Let's consult the guide. That's a good idea. But first, I'm going to read mm. the text because this is yes, a text adventure game. Idea. This is the lair of the ravenous bug bladder beast of Tral. There, there are exits east and southwest. The ravenous bug bladder beast blah, 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 of Troll is here, looking particularly nasty and hungry. The beast whips its evil-smelling tail away from your nose and bellows a brain-shattering <clears throat> roar. By suddenly popping out of nowhere, you have disturbed its train of thought. However, since its train of 
thought was the usual one, and in fact the only one it knows, which goes like this. Hungry, 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 bad tempered, hungry. It soon starts <laughs> That's to chug- what sound like, yes. Yes. It soon starts to chug along again. You notice the beast's lasero zap eyes, its swivel of sheer teeth, and its several uh, dozen tungsten carbine vast pain mm. claws oh. forged in the sun fur- furnaces of Zangrajad. It has skin like a motorway and breath like a 747. It advances on you and roars out a demand that you say your name. Say your name! <laughs> <laughs> so do we want to say our name, or do we want to consult the guide? In fact, we don't even know our name at this Cons- point. Sure we do. Do. Oh yeah 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 yeah. He yeah. the uh 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 uh. I don't remember Ford's name, but Ford has told us, and I think it, it said it somewhere. Yeah, we we know who we are. Uh, consult guide about bug bladder beast. <laughs> I'm trying to call it a bug bladder beast instead of a bug bladder beast which is how an yeah. American would usually pronounce it, because I don't want it to be a bug bladder beast. <laughs> the ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll is in a is a mind-bogglingly stupid animal. It has almost no <laughs> capacity for learning from experience, and is therefore surprised by virtually everything that happens to it. Here is an example of how stupid it is. It thinks that if you can't see it, it can't see you. Its behavior would be quite endearing if it wasn't spoilt by this one thing. It is the most violently carnivorous creature in the galaxy. Avoid, avoid, avoid. With a head-splitting roar, the rabbit's wanna... bug ladder beast of troll charges towards you. I think we want to put the towel over our head. Okay. Sounds like a very good idea. If if it can't see you, or exactly. if you can't see it, whatever. <laughs> and the game did give us a hint about that before. <laughs> The ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll is completely bewildered. It is so dim that it th- that it th- it thinks that if you can't see it, it can't see you. You have a few <laughs> seconds before it realizes its mistake. Now what do we do? So we've determined that a few seconds would be like 0.1 or 0.2 of a move. <laughs> That's true, because one move is 10 minutes. <laughs> It did take us 10 minutes to put the towel over our head, but luckily the bug bladder (laughs) beast had to charge like miles. (laughs) We saw it, it it's just that it's so big that we didn't understand just how far Mm -hmm. away it is. Um, did 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 the description say anything about exits? Or anything. Oh, there was an exit. Yes, it did say about exit. I, well, if we look now, we're going to die. Well, no, we're not going to yeah, be exactly. able to because so we put a really towel over our head. <laughs> so there were exits. Let's, I want to say east and southwest. <laughs> let's go southwest. The least likely one to be correct. I could be wrong about directions, though. I don't really remember. Let's hope you're right. And, oh. Okay, you stumble in that direction, but as you can't see where you're going, you wander around in circles for ten minutes. The beast is getting puzzled that something it can't see is stumbling around its lair. Slowly it dawns on the creature that someone is trying to make a fool of it. It starts for you again! Um... Let's try the other one, then. Let's try the east. Well, I mean, if we couldn't go, if the reason we couldn't go is that we were, uh, yeah, we have a I towel suppose. on our head, then trying to go a different Let's direction is going to get us at. Yeah. Let's take the towel off and then go one of the directions. Okay. That? Remove towel. Please remove the towel. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to think about that. You unwrap the towel from your head, you see that you have wandered in circles, unfortunately the beast has also caught sight of you again, all this fooling around has made it doubly angry and hungry, with a vast savage roar, the beast tears you limb from limb, with its tungsten carbide vast pain claws, and, well, do you really want to know the rest? The point is you have died, everything becomes dark. Wait, what? Let's wait. (laughs) Have we gone back to the sense thing again? (sighs) Yep. (sighs) Hear, see, Uh, smell, feel, taste. The first one always seems to have everything. Yeah. Yeah, I think it always takes the same number. I think it always takes four, in fact, which is kind Uh, of a lot. 
I'm yeah, gonna, it kind of is. I'm just gonna do four and let it, you know, hopefully yeah. figure it out. Uh, see, feel, hear, taste, smell. Okay, good. Taste, see, feel, smell, hear. Yep. Let's listen. I'm just gonna very this means quickly we're back on the point out that we're though. actually off the the trail here. <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah, this is just back on the heart of gold. Yep. Though. So we have survived the experience, but it didn't do us any good. Um. So we were meant to be in the bug vada beasts den, I guess. Yep. It's okay. shockingly difficult to die per se in this game. <laughs> Apparently it is. Okay, let's instead just go east. Oh, I was east. right. East and southwest. You were as well. Yeah. Okay. If he's running towards me, then uh, let's run away and go east. Yeah, I mean, that seems sensible. Beast's outer lair. This is a large walled courtyard. Strewn about are profusions of gnawed bones bleached in the sun. In case the significance of these uh, fails to strike you, <laughs> there is also a sandstone memorial in the middle of the courtyard on which the beast has roughly carved the names of all of its victims. Some sharp stones lie near the exit to the west. Bellowing with rage, the beast charges after you. Well, let's go west. We don't want to go back and oh wait. West is back. <laughs> where we came from. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Well, I guess we've got to go west then, haven't we? We could look at some things. We can certainly try. I'm pretty sure we'll die if we do. But yeah, yeah, that's why I'm saying we let's not. Let's just yeah, go let's west. Do it. Let's look at the stone. I like getting it. <laughs> yeah. Being eaten we is like fun. We like eating things. We like being eaten. Yeah. We like, yeah, exactly. We like eating and being eaten. Well, this, the well, sharp okay. stone 